Um, this is one of the most controversial videos, like, that I can remember, at least. I think this has, like, 70 million views. Basically, guys, let's cut to the chase. You know how I do it. We're going to watch Conor McGregor fight the mountain. It's body shots only. A lot of people have mixed opinions on this video. So let's get right into it. Let's break down Conor McGregor versus the mountain. So we start this off, and I already want to talk about this. I'm going to break it down immediately. Look at how Conor circles. Like that. That's what you want to do with the bigger opponent. And that's the first frame of this video. Now let's stop it here. Look at the size difference between these guys. Or let me let me change colors and make it easier. Not green. What color should we use? Should we use a... Let's use pink because there's no pink. Look at the size difference here. <laughs> this, that's at least a foot. I'm curious to see how tall um, Homeboy over here is. But I think Connor is 5'9". So let's base that. So now we got... Like, like I said, it's body shots only, guys. And uh, also, the dude is in jeans. Look, look at that fucking dude. He's huge. <laughs> Running after him. And now... This is something else I want to talk about. Look at how easily Connor's going to get out of this. Gets the underhook. Goes out. People shit on Connor's takedown. But something else we could talk about here is the stance. Actually, I got to go back a bit now. So look at how Connor's circling, circling around. And this is going to make the bigger dude tired. And he's in jeans and shoes. Now look, look at the stance here of McGregor. This is something that's changed a lot over the years. Um, his stance isn't as wide as we've seen it before, but he'll usually have a wide stance paired with this hand reaching out, and not only reaching out, it's not a long guard, he retracts it back in often, so it's like a, what can I compare this to, compared to a snake, reaching out, striking, coming back, this is the type of motion, he's putting out a threat every time, and the threat isn't going to be the lead hand, it's always going to be his rear hand, because that's the cross, that's the left hand of death that everybody talks about, right? So look, look at how he's using that, and then I bet he does go to the body. Um, this is his setup for the left hand all the time. I would like to see him just pick him up and throw him, though. See how that would work. And then watch, watch the body shot from the mountain. Watch this. Like... Man, you know that hurt, but Connor, he didn't even show a reaction. Usually a fighter would smile after something like that. Like, oh, that didn't hurt, but Connor, no reaction. And now now he's smiling at him whenever he's circling around. So look at that right here. Watch how oh shit, look at this. Perfect freeze frame here. He's trying to go for this kick. And uh this is another thing that Connor does is he'll throw a bunch of wild kicks just so he can throw this left hand and that's pretty much a strategy that's the mindset behind it is that you throw let's say he throws the lead leg right um let me change colors this is a good idea here he throws the lead leg right or maybe he'll throw the rear leg maybe he'll hit you with the cross maybe he's gonna probe with that lead hand you see i'm doing all these colors so you can see all the different variables here that's from every hand and every um yeah, every leg that he can strike somebody with and these are all the questions that he's overloading your brain with this is another thing that israel adesanya did a lot i know people don't like to hear his name anymore <laughs> but this is what izzy would do very well is he'd overload your mind with all of these different techniques or silva um strikers like that they'll overload your mind and then They'll do whatever their preference is, and for Connor, it'd be the left to the face here. But let's see, let's see him circle here. This is a big thing for Connor is to stick out this lead hand and circle. He doesn't have to stick it out here because he's far enough away. But him circling is gonna frustrate the bigger dude. Look, there's the left again. He's going back and then circles. You see how he goes out and around. Rather than just stopping and going backwards and getting trapped on the, the side over here, he just allows the dude to come forward and then he picks a direction. Maybe he'll faint left and then go right. Um, this is another thing that Israel Adesanya would do and get caught a lot with by keeping his hands down and leaning out. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. And look, look at the dude just smiling. 
at Connor's punches, but I think it'd be different if he was able to kick. And he's tired. I think that's the ultimate thing that happened here is the dude just got tired, right? And then, uh, yeah, he, dude, they're going to do this bullshit. I just wanted to watch this video because I thought it was entertaining. But I want to know, the question that I have for you if you made it to the end is, who do you think would win? The Mountain or Conor McGregor in a real fight? Anyway, guys, I'm going to be breaking down a couple more David and Goliath type videos. And we'll see if the smaller opponents can manage to beat the larger opponents. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.